We're gonna cook a catfish dish today that's so simple, I'm almost embarrassed to share it with you. I cooked it last night, didn't wanna cook, no one in my house wanted to cook. So we cooked this one and it was so easy and so, so good. Welcome to All Things Food with John Woods. I love to cook, but I cook to love. So let's talk food. So let's look at some of the simple ingredients. The name of the dish is called catfi baked catfish with dry herbs and summer vegetables. So let's look at some of the dry herbs. We're going to use paprika, about a half a teaspoon, about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a little pepper, a little basil, dried basil, a little oregano, a little thyme, and this is a half teaspoon of each one of these, a little thyme. And then we're going to mix all those together here. I'm going to use my finger, nothing fancy. We take our catfish fillets. These are U.S. Pond raised catfish fillets. I'm going to put them on a, uh, we're going to spray this baking sheet here. Put the fillets over on there. We take our seasoning and put it pretty liberally on the catfish fillet. And this is actually enough to do about six or eight fillets. We're only going to do two today. Then I'm going to take my melted butter, throw a little bit of garlic powder in there, squeeze a little bit of lemon, lemon juice, throw in a little bit of parsley, fresh parsley. So I'm going to stir all that together. And this is so simple. I'm going to pour it right on top of the catfish pretty generous amount. And that's really the recipe. You can stop right there, but we want to expand this recipe a little bit today. And we're going to use some summer vegetables. So let's chop these up. I have squash, zucchini, red onion, asparagus that we're going to save until the very end, and a few tomatoes for color. So let's take our onion. We're going to do a little julienne cut on it. Nice little thin slivers and put that right on top there. Take a little bit of the um, zucchini, tip and tail it, cut it in half, or actually quarter that. Then I'm going to cut it into small diced pieces. Throw that right on here, like so. A little bit of the squash, do the same thing there. Always watch yourself when you're cutting these vegetables. You don't want to cut your fingers, so use proper knife skills. I love this dish. It's really beautiful. Cooked it last night for the first time, and it's going to be one of my favorites. Take a couple of these little cherry tomatoes and just throw on for a little color. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to take some garlic, throw it on there, just to roast it a little bit. Then we're going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees for probably about 15, 10 or 15 minutes. Depends on your oven. Right toward the end, because I don't like to have my asparagus overcooked, I'm going to take this asparagus and throw on this, uh, maybe with about four minutes left, and then we're going to have a beautiful meal. See you in just a minute. You know, that looks absolutely beautiful and it was so simple. It only took a few minutes to actually prepare this dish. And one thing is you can prepare it the day before, put it in the refrigerator, wrap it up, throw it in the oven when you get home. So let's go ahead and plate this thing up. Right there. And then, you know, we added that asparagus there at the end. A little bit of slice of lemon here. And uh, I have two plates here because Emily is our camera lady and produces these shows for me. And um, most of the time when I cook, I'll do one plate and she has to share. But I feel very benevolent today, Emily, and I'm going to make a second plate for you and um, try to keep you happy over here. What a beautiful dish. I think you're really going to like this. And there it is, baked herb catfish with summer vegetables. 
Thank you for watching part of my series on 50 ways to love a catfish. Remember, there's nothing like U.S. pond raised catfish. If you enjoyed this video today, and I hope you did, please hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing to do it. Like this video and share it with all your family and friends. And I'll see you next week on All Things Food with John Woods.